Okay, hi Shaka. Now, kids, we're going to do a plot line of Hatchet. Um, we're not guys doing the movie. Let's make that clear. We're doing the book, okay? So just do what I do. Uh, I've drawn a big rectangle on the board. Uh, people at home, you need a big piece of paper. We're using a paper about this big. If you don't have something that big, then tape two pieces together. And we're first going to sketch in the outline of the plot line, okay guys, first? So we're going to start with the shape. So you want to make something like this, a hill in the bottom, flat in the beginning, flat at the end with a hill in the middle. There are many different kinds of plot lines. There are angles, there are... Is a mountain? Mount, this is sort of a hill. There are mountains, hills, climbing steps. People do them all different ways. I'd like you to stick with the one I'm doing right now. If you at home can't see it, I'll describe what I'm drawing, okay? I'll also take a picture of the one that we do um, afterwards so that you can see it up close. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to label some things. We're going to put up, we're going to write the word exposition under here, and we're going to put a box under it. Exposition. Exposition. And that's our background. Okay, over on this side, we're going to write the word resolution. We're going to put a box under that resolution right there. Next exposition, we're going to draw a tree and make sure you have enough space in your tree to write something. So put a tree like that. And in the trunk of your tree, please write the word setting. Can you put it in the middle? Um. um I suppose you can move it over a little bit. Setting those in the tree. We'll fill them in later. In the, the trunk of the tree. Oh. Okay. Over on this side, you're going to want to write a a person, I'm just going to put a head with a stiff body, and over the top of his head I'm going to write protagonist. This is that main character. Yeah, the main character. Mm -hmm. We don't really have an antagonist in the story, that's what allowed. But we would add that if we did. Yeah, his dad never did but his dad is not directly trying to antagonize him. Brian just perceives him as a threat. So there's a difference. Uh-huh. Wait, what? what's an antagonist again? It's the one that goes against the protagonist. Wait, Ant means wait. opposite. What do you perceive his dad as? A th uh, kind of a threat to his, his life because his, his mom had the divorce because of him. Yeah. The bear could be it. Yeah. Uh, that's a natural one, though. No, it's a natural one. And an antagonist, guys, is not just someone that shows up and leaves in the story. They're generally there for the whole thing. Wait, they divorced because Ooh. of his yep. mom. I thought, his mom, I thought he didn't like his mom because of the divorce. Yeah, the he's, mad, he's mad at his mom, but we're not going to put her down as an antagonist. In this book, we mainly have a protagonist. But what's that? Didn't have his mom call him? Yes. Well, we're going to fill those in later. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is... Um, on, on the first hill, right under it, please write rising action. And then on the down slope, please write falling action. And we're going to fill all these in shortly. Yep. Wait, so who is the divorce because of? The mom. The mom cheated. So it's a word you want. Yeah, there are no absolutes in a plot line. I want to do one all together, though. So if you were to do your own, Hank, and you wanted to include her in that way, that would be fine. But I want these all to look alike right now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a box like this underneath, kind of a trapezoid, and we're going to write the word um, conflict. Did I 
is not perfect. Oh. It would help if I move this up closer. Does that help you guys a little bit? Maybe that helps a bit. I don't know. Hopefully it does. Okay, um, up at the top, we're going to write an opposite shape. And we're going to write the reverse shape. And we're going to put here climax. And finally, we have a lot of falling action and um, rising action here. So we're going to put a lot of lines here. You can add more later. We probably will. You can add more later if you want to. We're just going to start with a bunch of lines. May not use them all. May have to add more. This first plot line we'll do together for future books. You're going to work on them yourselves and within with, groups, okay? At the very bottom comes your name. So just write your name in here at the bottom, please. Okay, now we're going to start filling this thing in. So the exposition of the story, how did Brian get there in the first place? What's the background? Before the scene even started, Marilyn? Um, with the plane. Even before the plane crashed, before he... Uh, his mom okay, his dad. parents got divorced, and Brian had to what? Go to the Emerson? He was going to go see his dad. Okay, so parents divorced, Brian to see dad. That's exposition. Parents divorced, Brian... Sees a ghost to see dad. So parent divorces goes to see dad. Yep. Parents divorce. Brian goes to see dad. Oh, down there. That's exposition. That's the background of the story. That's how we need to know what's happening before it actually begins. We eventually find those things out, but. This setting is very easy. What is the setting for this story? Oh God, oh very God. sick. Raise your hand, please. Addie? Uh, it is, yes. And another word for that would be the wilderness. Very good. The great is the wilderness. What specifically what area of the country, people? Oh, the Canadian, Canadian wilderness. wilderness. Yeah. The Canadian I put the wilderness. wilderness. Or the great outdoors is fine too. Canadian wilderness. Canadian wilderness. Canadian wilderness. That's the setting. Mm -hmm. In the tree. It goes in the top of the tree, right. Protagonist is the main character. Everybody, who is it? Brian. 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 Make sure you don't spell brain. B R I A N, not B R A I N. Brian. You have to brain in the brain. <laughs> end. You okay? Put your thing. You too. Keep it over your nose, please. Is there going to be more exposition? Because I wrote like. Small. No, that's all we got there. Okay, now the. Conflicts of stories can be man or woman versus themselves, man or woman versus another man or woman, man or woman versus nature. Those are some major conflicts. Did you hear the conflict of the story there in the threes I just uh -huh. did you, Sarah? Man or woman against nature. Right. So it's man, man versus nature. We're, we're going to put two things for the conflict. So man versus nature. I'll put a V period for versus. Man versus nature. Basically, the second part is Brian has to survive. That's the conflict. He's got to survive. That's the problem that has to be solved. Survival. The climax is the high point of the story. Now, you can find several climaxes in this story, but there's one specific one where Brian changes completely from old <coughs> Brian to new Brian. What occurs to make that change? Mark. Um, when the plane went past him and he, like he was too late to go like get the fire and burn the, the plane to see the smoke. 
that's what led up to this exact moment. You were right in the right, you're right on the cusp of the actual event. So you're so close. Brady? He tried to kill right, he tried to kill himself because of this. So the climax is the suicide attempt. Old Brian becomes new Brian. Mark, we're going to use yours very soon on one of the rising actions, the last actual one, actually. And the actual resolution of the book, how does it end up work? It eventually ends up, he gets rescued, Brian gets rescued. Now we're going to fill in the lines. And this is where... Many people would have different things. If I were to have you get in groups right now and come up with the rising action, falling action, we would have a lot of the same things, but my guess is that some of you would have different things. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of guide you onto the general ideas to start. This is our first one together, and the next time you can do one on your own. So the rising action, the first thing that happens in the story after you get to the plane that's significant is what? Part of it. Heart attack, right. Heart attack. And if we had time, we'd write these in more complete sentences. So we're not going to. We'll just do it. Heart attack. Let me show the name. <coughs> then what happens after the heart attack? Raise your hand. Martin? Oh, plane crash. Plane crash. Kids think that a mosquito attack would be next on the list. I don't know how significant that is. Mm -hmm. um, I would not put it on. I would go to the next thing. Um, gotcha. His first. Absolutely. His first food. Yeah. What do you think? It was the gut. The gut cherries. The gut cherries. Gut cherries. Gut cherries. What's your? Because I don't want to copy this. Gut cherries. And if you wanted to put mosquitoes in there, you could. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I don't think, see it as significant as some of these things. He had another food after this. What was it? Lizzie Dow. Wait, I already did. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> Levi? Raspberries? The raspberries. And raspberries are spelled R-A-S-P. Raspberries. Are you sure? I thought it was with worms. You're thinking of the movie. Don't think oh, of yeah. the movie. I yeah. should never have shown you guys the movie before we did this. Uh, in years past, we did the book, then we did the plot line, then we watched the movie, and I shouldn't show it to you. Even in the movie, he, he ate rats and... Yeah, but he, he, he ate did, but he didn't eat worms in the book. Okay, um, after that, he built his first... Shelter. Everybody? Shelter. Shelter. Wait, yeah. um, Mrs. Bunky? Yes? Wouldn't the, him seeing the bear be after the rats? Oh, bear? yeah! No, that's the book. Yeah, um, the movie. No, it's no. not. No, it's book. The Wait, book no, 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 no. But okay. he also so, so he found the right, he, he saw the bears here, and you could because he learned something that the bear was not to eat them. So if you wanted to add that raspberries and bear here, but you could the put bear was like, no. When he's building a shelter, he learns that the bear is not being good. Right. Mm -hmm. So the bear is really no threat to him, but it is in the movie, right? But not in the book. Not in the book. Yeah. Yes. Gets ran over by monkeys. Okay, not yet. No, not no, yet. No, 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 no. By what? He built his first. We already have that. Fire. Fire. Oh. He died through suicide. That was critical to survival. I put an exclamation point on that one. No, it would be the uh, porcupine. Porcupine first. No. Nope. Not yet. Yeah, because he that was that night. Nope. Yeah, because he threw it. Away. He threw it. Oh, first yeah. Spider. It made a spark. Oh, Not that right. he threw it. It made a spark at the rat yeah. porcupine. Oh, the porcupine came before the fire? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's change it then. Because he got the spark from the porcupine thing. attack. And then fire. We really I, call them I want to change it on my paper. <coughs> oh, I have it on the back. I have a note on here that I had it wrong in the first place. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Griffin. Uh, and then he found some, his first protein food. What was the first protein food he found? Fish. 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 Not yet. No. He didn't catch his fish yet. Grub. No, that was the movie. That was the movie. Oh, turtle eggs. Turtle eggs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about the pool bird? The what? Those, oh, those don't come yet. Those don't come yet. Oh, 
the food. And then, Mark, what event happened just before the suicide event? The uh, plane passed by. Okay, we had the plane passes over. Plane passes over. And that's what caused his incredible depression. And he tried to commit suicide, but he did not survive. I mean, he, not die. he, did, he was not successful, and he became changed. So now, after this huge conflict, yeah. On your heart, this is like under a heart attack. Wouldn't it be like gets hatchet? You could put gets hatchet there. Sure, that's a good idea. I like that. No, gets hatchet. Yeah, before everything. I like that. Gets hatchet. Yeah, that's pretty significant. I mean, think about that one. Thank you, Karis. Good job. Okay, falling action. Oh, that's a lot more lines. Okay, so what happened after this? And I don't know if I put this, but some kids said he saw an animal. What did he see? Oh, he saw a wolf. I'm not thinking of the movie, I'm thinking of the book. Did the wolf hurt him? No. No. And then something significant happened to him. He was blinded because what, Marilyn? Um, the skunk. skunk attack. That came rising after. No, that came afterward. I know, but like I feel like this whole thing should still be rising. Oh. Well, then you'd have to pick a new climax. Uh, at the very end, and some climax. people would pick a new climax, but to me, this is so significant mm -hmm. before and after that I, I kind of go with that one. But you, you might write it differently. Um, then he catches his first what? Fish. 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 Yeah, first fish. Remember how he described it? It made me hungry reading it. And then makes his first. Freddie, then what did he catch? What did he catch? Oh, yeah. I was going to say he built a little <coughs> circle. Right, so he, he cut his first fish, and then you could say that, and, he, and, and built his thing, his little surround. You can put that there. Oh, you, and then he did the pool bird. Then, right, his first meat. Well, then he discovered how to hunt them, and then he got his first meat. You could put that if you wanted to add that. First meat would be full birds. See, that? I mean, you could add a lot of other things here if you wanted to. Wait, is that fish meat? No, 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 no. Brady? Didn't he make the bow before the meat? He had to make the bow to make the fish, so you could put that there as well. Those are important things, too. I agree. We could add more to it. I'm just keeping it fairly general. Um, he also, ooh, he got attacked by what? Oh. Two things happened in one day. What was the first one, Joey? First one? Um, the first one, he got attacked by me. Moose attack, right. Can you put this on one line? I know. Uh, I, I'm not going to, but you could. And Lizzie? Then the tornado. Then the tornado, all in one day. And on the count of three, what was the funny line? What did he say? Oh, One, two, three. I, I hope, hope the tornado hits the moose. I hope the tornado hits the moose, right. I, 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 to be honest, we could fill up this whole page. Now, we could, we could. Now, because the tornado occurred, it wasn't all bad because something happened after that. Ooh. Someone who wasn't, who wasn't answered at all. You have not, Olivia. Um, the plane, the tornado brought the plane up. The plane tail, right, appeared. Wait, but first his shelter and like fire and everything went out. He had to rebuild everything. You're right about that. The plane tail appeared. And then he decided to do something. He was going to go there, but he had to build something. What did he build, everybody? A raft. Yes, yeah, so he built the raft. Do you, think, do you think there are other ways? Do you think you could add more stuff in these? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sure you could. Is the raft significant? No, because really it was just a piece of wood. The fact that he built the whole thing by himself, for and, and then the very end, Brady. He got rich. Cause right, he got rich because he found what? Uh, the survival. The survival pack, right? Um, I like that he got rich. The survival oh, pack. Could we include the guy's face? If you want to include the guy's no, face, I'm you good. could. I don't have it in mind, but he was freaked out by the dead guy. And so this would be a typical plot line of Hatchet. You may have a different one if you did it by yourself. What I want you guys to do is to turn it to the bottom, and you're going to turn them in, and you're all going to get uh, uh, maximum points for it. Okay? I, I would just like to see it so that I can grade you. Goodbye, guys. I'm going to take a picture of this for you as well. Okay? Where's your post?